The third person, very interesting, is again Jay Narayan. Jay Narayan, Narayan has educated, entertained, and inspired thousands over the last decade with his energetic, witty, and motivational speeches and incisive training programs addressing audiences from corporate organizations to colleges and more. Welcome, Jay. Please join us on the line. So Jay, I met him just recently, absolutely inspirational guy. To begin with, I would like uh, each one of the panel members uh, to make a short uh, you know, presentation of their own, as the title says, my personal experiments, learnings and experiences on self-development. Let's listen to what Jay has. Uh, is it me or would you like the, those who have been there, done that at IMB to speak first? No, I, there's no need. Okay. You can do it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Professor. Um, my name is Jai Narayan. Uh, well, you can call me anytime. <laughs> I would be happy to connect. Now, before I actually get into the nuts and bolts of what self-development means to me, I would like to hear a shout out from all the, audi the, the audience in front of me. I don't see anyone right now. So can you say yes if you're physically present in this room right now? Yes! <laughs> well, that was reassuring, but I would be even more reassured if you let me know if you're mentally present in this room right now. <laughs> yes! yes. Uh, because I don't want half of you to still be wondering if India can make it to the finals of the Champions <laughs> Trophy. The answer to that question is maybe, but we won't discuss that now. Um, my, I strongly do believe that it is not who we are that matters. It is who we choose to be. And by the way, that is from the Kung Fu Panda. Mm. And <laughs> it doesn't get any more oriental and philosophical <laughs> than what the panda or the Shifu, Master Shifu or Ugwe have to say. <laughs> so I, I thought that's very profound and powerful. And um, over the last few years, especially my stay in Japan for nearly 17 years, which is nearly, well, one third of my life so far on planet Earth. I've realized, uh, I've, been given, I've given a lot of thought to what, what self-development is, um, especially with uh, having to deal with or cope with uh, this uh, ongoing challenge that I had in my late 20s. Um, to put it, I think, in a, or wrap it in, in, in a nutshell, I think it's got a lot to do with the time you spend with yourself in uh, thought. And I think it's to do with introspection. A gentleman in the, um, you know, earlier when we started, when uh, Partha asked, you know, what does it mean to you? Yeah. Self-development. One of you said reflection. And that is very true. I think it's got a lot to do with introspection. But um, in the last 20 minutes or so, listening to the professor speak and to Anu right now, um, I've come to an idea, <laughs> a little concept I'd like to share with you right now. Sure. I think it starts with introspection okay. and creating what I would like to call my personal brand. Now, what do I mean by my brand here? It is, how does the world perceive me? So what is brand Jai then? Just as we have corporate brands and we have product brands, we have service brands, how does the world perceive me? I think I've given a lot of thought in the last few years to what is the personal brand I want to create for myself? And in order to do that, I guess it all begins with an introspection. Now, who do I want to be? Once I realize that possibly these are some of the perceptions that the world has about me, if those perceptions are positive, I would like to then reinforce that, leverage upon that, and make sure that I accentuate that as being part of the Jai brand. If they are negative, I would like to reflect on that to see why it was so, if there's anything I can do about it, or is it something that was purely perception? End of the day, the equation that I realized was powerful for all of us here, from those who are actually joining us in cyberspace, um, it's got to do with that perception being reality. Okay. So if that perception is reality, and if it's good, then I reinforce it and make it stronger. If that, per that perception is not positive, then I work on it and make sure that I correct that. So it all begins with introspection of my brand. But that's where I thought in the last 15 minutes, it doesn't stop there. Sure. Once you introspect, what I then realized we have to do is we improve. Because once we know what the perception is, we improve on that perception, and finally, we internalize. Which is what the professor earlier spoke about internalization, right? And here's the beauty, ladies and gentlemen. 
Many of you are probably not going to believe me when I say this, but you'll just have to accept the fact that it's the truth. On my drive into this campus this morning, I realized that self-development to me, which was I introspect my brand, was IIMB. <laughs> so, nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> honestly, it was an aha moment for me. There was a light bulb that, that actually lit up over my head without chewing on mentors. Okay. Well, hang on. I introspect my brand. I internalize my brand and I improve my brand. It was all IIMB. So ladies and gentlemen, you are all at the right forum, at the right place when it comes to self-development. I think you'd applaud yourselves for that. And then I realized that I then went back to a little bit of all the basics that I had garnered um, or, or, or actually, you know, uh, assimilated in my tenure in Japan, which was as east you can get to <laughs> and you can go. And um, many of you, of you in this room here would be very familiar with uh, the 5S of Japanese workplace management, very popularly, I think, called aesthetic management. Uh, I'm speaking here of Seiri, Seiton, Seiso, Seiketsu, Shitsuke. Yeah, many of you are shouting, speak English, Jai. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a very loose English translation would be to sort things out first, and then to store and stack them, to shine and standardize, and the last one, self-discipline. And over the years, I've focused on the last self-discipline aspect of workplace management. And I realized that unless you have the discipline to do things that you have to do when it has to be done, mm -hmm. there is no point in learning anything from books or from forums such as this. And you need to have the discipline to implement learning. Because uh, to learn and not do is to not learn at all, is my belief. To know and not do is to not know at all, is my belief. So the self <coughs> aspect of the 5S is something that I have actually internalized in my own life, especially because of the challenges I have. Sure. As someone who cannot see now, if I don't know where things are, I'll be spending, I think, more than half my lifetime looking for something. Mm -hmm. So I have everything in place, and there is a place for everything. And this indirectly has made me become a little more organized, systematic, methodical, someone who's very process and protocol oriented. And I think it's a very effective way of living, I believe, while not losing one's identity and being creative at the same time. So self-discipline is uh, something I picked up uh, from Japan. The other thing which uh, very Japanese, uh, a very often, uh, uh, you know, very well-known word for all of you in this room, I think, Kaizen. Kaizen. And Kaizen, of course, uh, very loosely translated is uh, daily improvement. Mm -hmm. But I have an interesting take for all of you today. Okay. They say Kaizen is, goes beyond actually daily improvement. It is not just to do with, uh, you know, looking at a product, a service, a system, a process. Very often, it is looking at yourself. How many times do we take time off in our introspection to ask ourselves, am I better today than I was yesterday? Am I better today than I was yesterday? Am I incrementally growing? Will I be better tomorrow than I am today? Now, many of you may ask me, you know, Jai, better at what? <laughs> mm. A better person. Mm -hmm. Better incrementally in terms of your own personal, creative, mental, physical, professional, uh, spiritual growth. Because let's face it, uh, ladies and gentlemen, at our ages today, our physical growth vertically has stopped. Am I right in uh, assuming that? Yeah. Am I? Yeah. Uh, unless you put on somebody's, you know, Katharina Kev stilettos or something, you know. <laughs> our physical growth vertically has stopped. Nothing stops our spiritual, mental, intellectual, creative, professional, personal character growth. And yes. that can only happen, you know, incrementally daily. And when you think about that, look at Kaizen again, and look at that again, is to take something apart, study it, put it back together, but in a better way. Mm -hmm. And if, again, to, as an expansion of that, if somebody in the room were to ask me, Jai, okay, I'm a better today than yesterday, better again at what? Did I thank one more person today than I did yesterday? Sure. Did I apologize one more time today for something that was my mistake? Sure. Um, you know, did I learn from a mistake I made yesterday? And am I not repeating today? If you just look at that incrementally, I do believe that when December 31st comes around, you will be a better person than January 1st yes. uh, with this daily improvement growth. And I think to me, that has been a significant focus over the last few years uh, in my own life um, of first um, introspecting and then uh, understanding what the perce perception of the world is when my brand, uh, about my Jai brand, and then of course, uh, uh, improving on that 
and internalizing it so that I become, you know, as I keep growing vertically every day in all those aspects of my life. So uh, I, I will stop here. I wish you all the very best in your own personal growths. And uh, as, as Dan Millman says in his very famous book, The Way of the Peaceful Warrior, which was also made in a movie with Mick Nolte, it is all about the journey, ladies and gentlemen, not the destination. Thank you. Thank you, Jay. Thank you very much. So, uh, very briefly, uh, Abraham Lincoln once said, I don't like that man. I must get to know him better. <laughs> so what, if, you, if you look at that thought, I think it's very powerful in its simplicity. In any oh. relationship, one person is always right, another person is the husband. <laughs> <laughs> right. You spoke about competing and you know, conflict and you know, all those kinds of uh, feelings. I think in a nutshell, it's not all about competing with anyone else or conflicting with anyone else. It's all about competing with your own potential self. If you can just ask yourself one question regularly, not, the question is not, am I as good as him? Or am I as good as her? or that person is, am I as good as I can be? And if you realize that, I think that self-realization will very, uh, I think, uh, effectively contribute to your uh, professional, uh, I mean, your, your incremental Absolutely. and spiritual growth. Compete with your own self, no one the, with not, not anyone else at any time. Yeah. Very quickly, yeah. Professor, the fact that he feels the fear is perfectly fine. Yeah. I mean, you are human. We are all human. You need to feel fear, but then face it. It's very, isn't it? Very <laughs> I am. Thank you all. Thank you once again, uh, Sanjay, uh, Jay, Anu, and Professor CMR. It's been an absolute pleasure having you all out here. The audience, too, please give them a big hand for the audience. Yeah. You guys rock.